Hey guys, Happy New Year's. Happy uh, Happy Monday, Happy New Year. Hope everybody's doing well, hope you're staying warm. I've been gone for like 10 days, which is why I tried to just shut down uh, any of the spawning or the uh, raising of the fry, because that just wasn't going to happen while I wasn't here. Uh, I can't ask somebody to help me out with that. But, um, but anyway... I was gone for about 10 days when I got back. The water had evaporated here at about right there, which was crazy. Um, and it had evaporated here to about right this level. And that's why you have that little safety flow right there to keep from burning that motor out, which is a good thing. Uh, it just didn't move any water very well. But uh, this thing's full of shrimp. Uh, that's all I have in here. I think they might have eaten the fry. These shrimp are really aggressive, I think. Uh, I have seen them go after a spawn, especially like baby fish when they're sleeping. They're, uh, you know, it's it's a tough world out there. So uh, I don't know that uh, trying to keep really, really young fish in a tank full of shrimp is a safe thing to do. That's just me, just my two cents. Haven't pulled that off successfully. Your mileage may vary. Uh, the plan this year is to raise these two, uh, or these two spawn every time I do a big water change. They're very healthy. They're great parents. I'm trying to figure out how to feed the newly hatched fry and keep the water quality up, and really what to feed them. Uh, that's been the biggest challenge for me. Um, so that's what I'm shooting on this year. Uh, that's the big goal for this tank and really for the hobby. Uh, just try to uh, figure out a way to raise some fry. Once I get that figured out, then I'm going to move up to discus. Um, but everything's good. I haven't lost any fish. Everything in here is fine. Um, plants are doing well. The lace plants just keep... If you remember, this was actually... Uh, these were bulbs... I don't know, four months ago. Um, it just keeps growing out. New new growth there. Cut all this back. The uh, You're seeing the Tahitian black sand and then there's fluorite uh, under that that's just kind of bubbled up from pulling plants and whatever. But I'm going to try to let some of this grow back. They want me to feed them. That's why they're looking. There's a little bit of glossa there. Uh, all this carpet stuff's doing great. The only challenge with the carpet i found is this... Uh, that moss that gets in there, you can see it right here. It is an invasive, aggressive species, and if you don't pull it out, here's a perfect example. See it on that leaf? It just chokes it out. It'll get on a leaf of a plant and just dig into it, pit into it with the roots, and just try to kill it, which is what it's trying to do with that Java fern back there as well. So it's really high maintenance. I wouldn't recommend it, and I really haven't done anything with the plants. Uh, and there is some new bacopa back there trying to, I put a bunch of bacopa in, you can see little sprigs of it in the back. Trying to get the bacopa, if you go look on, on the, the main channel on the video, you know, this whole area in the back middle was just full of bacopa and money wart. And I try to get a little bit of it to grow back, but I do like, I do like that open look and the discus definitely like it. Uh, the tank had more plants in it than it did. Uh, swimming area for the fish. The only other thing I need to do is uh, that star grass right here. It's kind of separated and I'm going to try to bury some of it back down in here and maybe some right in here just to get it to bubble up. I really like how it looks, uh, especially low tech. If you have high tech, it just becomes a jungle, but low tech's not too bad. Haven't lost any fish, knock on wood. And the one that everybody was worried about the thread fins love this tank, by the way. They love the big space. Was uh, the, the female Bosmani, and she's doing good. If I can get her to come back over. Well, there's the male Bosmani. And and there's the male turquoise. And those two guys like to fight a lot, swim around in the morning. They're very active in the morning. There, here comes a female, Bosmani, and 
her eye looks a lot better. She doesn't look 100%. She's not the picture of health, but she looks a lot better than she did. So anyway, just trying to give them good food. Uh, and need to do a big water change. Need to do some maintenance today. This is the lowest my water's ever been in this 120. You can see I had quite a bit evaporate out. I usually, well, that'll give you an idea. I usually have it to right here. So I had evaporate out about, well, let me get a ruler, I'll tell you. I had evaporate out about two and a half inches or about, for you guys across the pond, about five and a half uh, centimeters. So that's quite a bit of evaporation. In, um, in a, I don't know, it's like seven days. So crazy, crazy. But that's definitely what happens here when uh, we get really cold weather and the heat kicks in and it's a dry heat and it just causes things to evaporate. But everything's going well. Happy New Year. I'll try to keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, this is just a long update and everything's going well. So and this thing's crawling with shrimp. I have not been successful with the fry in this tank, and I think the shrimp come out and get the babies when they're sleeping. I have seen shrimp go after the wigglers. Uh, if you go back and look, uh, there's actually a video on the channel where I had uh, some angel fish spawn on a big Amazon sword leaf, and there were baby wigglers on the leaf, and I moved it to the 33, and the shrimp came out at night and feasted on it. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I may have to focus on getting shrimp out of this tank, but these parents are really good at protecting them. But, you know, fish do have to sleep. If you have a lot of shrimp, they tend to be pretty nocturnal, uh, a lot of them. So, but uh, you guys be good. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. Long update. I'll keep you guys posted. Take care. Thanks for watching.